Good morning, everyone. I want to thank you all for joining Beer and Purvis this morning to learn more about our new value add service, online enrollment through East Central. I am Stacy Reeder. I'm the director of marketing at Beer and Purvis, and I am joining Rhett Rankin uh, with business development at East Central. And we are very pleased to bring you and your clients free online enrollment, or what we are affectionately referring to as, as BP Enroll. And I'm sure most of you are familiar with East Central by name, and you've probably seen a demonstration of their solution. And we, through our experience with, with multiple vendors, we have been very impressed with the simplicity of their online enrollment process, as well as their total group management solution. And this is why we have chosen to partner with them and provide this value add service to you. So the value add service that we are bringing to our broker partners through East Central is to offer all of you and your clients free online enrollment. And we will definitely get into some more details you know, in that during the demonstration of the product. But know too that beyond the free online enrollment, East Central has a total group management solution. And so Rhett is going to demonstrate, he's going to talk about East Central, their background, but then he's also going to demonstrate the product as well. And then we will focus on, you know, the online enrollment portion that we will be making available to you and your clients. So it should, I mean, not, I mean, it will definitely simplify, you know, the enrollment and underwriting process for groups of 1 to 100 in 2016 but it can be a tremendous time saver for you in the fourth quarter. I mean, I just, I couldn't believe it. it's October 1st. So in, game on. So I want to go ahead and just touch on a few housekeeping items with everyone. You are all on mute. And if you have any questions, please submit those in writing. Um, and I will present those to Rhett during the presentation or during the demonstration, I should say so that he can address them at that point in time. And then he and I will kind of go, you know, back and forth a little bit during the presentation as well. So tomorrow we will follow up with you with, a, uh, with an email that will contain a link to uh, the presentation slides from today, as well as a recording of the presentation and some, you know, other resources and materials, you know, to to help you get started with BP Enroll as well as East Central. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Rhett. All right. Great. Thanks, Stacy. Definitely appreciate the opportunity to, to visit with you and, and all the other brokers online today. So um, give a little background about myself. Uh, I am in business development with East Central. Uh, I'm an ex-broker for 18 years, so I can definitely empathize with all the brokers going through the rush of the fourth quarter. Uh, and getting prepared, having the necessary resources and tools that help us uh, create those efficiencies for our groups to get those enrollments going, uh, making sure that we can handle as much of the workload as possible. Um, so a little bit about who we are at East Central. So East Central, we are a cloud-based SaaS system uh, helping employers of any size to improve their margins by leveraging the technology to reduce tedious HR tasks by increasing efficiencies and enhancing communication with the employees. Our HRIS system manages a variety of components, such as employee benefits, payroll integration, ACA compliance reporting, and HR-related tasks. Obviously, the ACA compliance reporting is, is a very popular uh, module for us right now. Definitely something that a lot of employers are concerned about. So inside of our system, we'll be able to demo that for you and give you a little bit more of a background, uh, a little bit more intimate uh, perspective on how that actually works. So a little bit about our background. We were founded in July of 2012 by David Reed, a former broker with well over 15 years of experience. And to date, we've deployed over 15,000 groups and completed almost 2 million enrollments. Um, currently, we are seeing an influx of about 1,000 new groups a month coming onto our system. So we're very, very busy, but very, very thankful to have the ability to work with so many different brokers and groups out there. All of our websites are scanned daily by AlertLogic and McAfee Secure, and we want to make sure that we comply completely with the HIPAA and high-tech compliance regulations. 
the core of why we were created essentially was to allow for quick and easy setups, easy administration. We want to help work with the broker. We don't want to replace any broker. We want to make sure that we work with them so that we can help with the effective and efficiencies that they need uh, managing their book. Um, obviously, all brokers want to look at their business, and nobody wants to be stagnant. We always want to continue to, to have some growth. And the challenges that I saw years ago as a broker was the ability to actually wear both hats, you know, customer service and sales. Um, so what we found in, in using uh, East Central is that we were able to continue that growth while we were still servicing the accounts that we were taking care of. So some of the capabilities and highlights that I'd like to review. Um, we consider a single onboarding tool. Uh, everybody has a different definition of what onboarding is. You know, our definition is essentially being able to uh, collect the carrier paperwork information, mapping those forms, uh, coordinating payroll, um, and all those different benefit elections and HR into one single system. Uh, we send out and capture the information for the initial COBRA and model exchange notices and also capture an I-9 and W-4 at the same time. So with one single session, we can capture all that information. Currently inside of our system, we have over 50 pre-built benefit plans, you know, from the standard medical, dental, vision, life, to 401k, FSA, uh, parking, transit, uh, telemedicine. We have a lot of different plans that are pre-built in there and building more every day. We make it easy to access the employer's activity you know, manage that administration for new hires and changes and terminations. And we also believe that it's a great communication tool uh, to help leverage that technology so that the groups can communicate better with their employees and also enhance the employee's experience so that they feel empowered that they know what their benefits are. Um, they're very, very well educated going through that whole process. Definitely there will be situations when questions will need to be asked, but for the most part, uh, we see a lot of employees that are able to take care of their own enrollment on their own. So modernizing our workflow. You know, we know that brokers and employers require great technology solutions. We want to stay competitive with the, the markets that are out there, uh, the benefits of the world that are out there attacking the brokers, um, saying that they're not worth what they're getting paid in compensation, saying that they don't create any value. Uh, we are the exact opposite. We feel like we know that the brokers are the most important piece of that relationship. So we want to provide those tools that prevent the benefits from going in and taking any business away from that broker. Uh, we create electronic personnel files, and we also provide those total compensation statements. Those are great resources to use uh, during annual reviews with those employees. So kind of a snapshot of, of what the screen looks like whenever you log in. We've got a couple different um, surrounding uh, comments around the screen of what an employee would actually look like. And I'll be able to demonstrate this in just a little bit, but obviously we mentioned that we handle uh, benefits and enrollment process and all the other different plan types, the onboarding and offboarding processes, rate quoting. Uh, so we have the ability to actually quote from a variety of libraries uh, inside of our system. So if you're working with the current plan, possibly been there four or five years with that carrier and want to see how the markets compare from a rate perspective. Uh, you can quote those other different carriers straight out of our system. You don't have to send that off to the carrier direct to get a quote. Uh, you don't have to work with a general agent to get that information. You can quickly compare your current plan with whatever the new competitive markets might be showing outside of that um, and create a spreadsheet that you can have for presentation purposes you know, with, the, with the client, the employer. Um, we definitely want to focus on paperless enrollments. We want to get away from any type of paper application. We want to create that digital footprint, if you will, to capture and map the information from the employee onto as many carrier forms as necessary. Uh, you might have multiple plan setups. Uh, let's say you have medical, dental, and vision, three different carriers, three different forms. We can map all those forms. Uh, essentially what we do is we import the information with the employer capturing that information. We can work with the broker as well too. And then we set that up inside the system so that when the employee does enter for enrollment, they're going to just verify that their in information is accurate. They're going to update anything that might be missing. And they're immediately taken into their benefit enrollment. So they have to spend 
the most amount of time is spent educating themselves on which plan that they want to enroll in. They're not, they're not scrolling through and doing tedious uh, name, rank, and file data entry, uh, purely updating it and then moving on to their enrollment. Uh, we have a document library feature. What this does is it gives access to the employees 24-7. Uh, they don't have to log in for non-private information. Uh, summary benefits and coverage, uh, SPD, uh, employee handbook, whatever necessary information the employer wants to communicate that's non-private, the employee can simply go to that carrier, or I'm sorry, that employer website, uh, click on a link, and they'll be able to download from a folder of information all the necessary information that's posted in there. And then I mentioned earlier too, they have benefit compensation statements. Those are created inside of our system based upon the amount of data that's held in there, whether it's compensation, uh, vacation time, uh, sick time, FICA, FUTA, all the contributions on the benefit plans that are available. We'll, we'll capture all that information and we will create a total compensation statement on every employee that can be distributed out individually or downloaded in one large PDF file. So transitioning to what our solution is for benefits in HR. We feel like we're very, you know, user friendly. We're very competitively priced. We support our clients with training, no long-term contracts, no setup fees, and we're really a fit for small and large employers. We easily manage employee benefits, onboarding of clients all in one central location. We also have some additional uh, vendors that we work with to incorporate uh, a wider variety or portfolio of benefits. Obviously, a very important key is, is HR support. So we have a support center built inside of our system through a relationship with HR AnswerLink. Um, it's fully branded so that you can, as the broker, brand it for your client so they can have that recognition of the value that you bring to the table. Um, essentially what you have then is access online to a library of HR related topics, you know, hiring and firing, challenges at the workplace, FMLA, COBRA. They also provide uh, email notifications that can go out, an email campaign that can go out to the employer based upon the cycle that you choose to. And they also have regulation updates based upon when new laws come into play and how they're going to affect the clients that you work with. Uh, so that is available as well, too, as an additional service beyond what some of our normal subscription pricing is. We'll get into some of those uh, pricing subscription models later. Um, at this point, uh, I think, Stacy, we're going to transition back to you and some of the things at BP and Roll. Oh, I'm, so thank you, Rhett. He just told me I was on mute. I apologize, guys. <laughs> so while Rhett is actually transitioning um, to take over the presentation to go through an employee enrollment, I want to let you guys know that when you see the enrollment process, this is actually what your client's employees are going to experience. This is what we are referring to as BP Enroll. It's the free online enrollment for all groups enrolling with the BMP carrier. So now... Before he begins, let's just kind of look at you know, some of the steps. In case you're wanting to know what exactly is it going to take to get a group set up 
you know, within BP Enroll so they can conduct their online enrollment. I mean, you hear about there are some vendors that require, you know, a substantial amount of information. But we like to think that we're trying to keep it as simple as possible. But there are obviously some, some items that we will need to, to get from you in order to set up the process. So the... First of all, you're going to need to notify your BMP sales team when you have a sole group. You know, you just let us know who the carrier is. The same process, really, that you've kind of always done. The group is sold. Here's the carrier. Here's the plans. Here's what you need to know. And then what we will do from there is once we're aware, then we will follow up with you um, to let you know what employee profile data we actually still need to obtain. And just to give you an idea, I mean, we're going to need first and last names. And, you know, having the employee zip code and the date of birth are helpful inf is helpful information as well. That's information that you're already providing to us in order to generate the quote. So that's in the, the census that you've already given us. Now, there are a couple of other items, date of hire, that's going to help determine and drive the eligibility. The second is email. We need an email address in order to invite people to enroll in their benefits. So that is definitely, you know, something that we're going to need to get. But if it, you or the employer want to provide more information, even better. It's just going to speed up the process for the employee and probably ensure more accurate enrollment. So beyond that, once we have all the information, it would be one to two day setup. And just to, you know, be realistic on that, especially as all of the enrollments are kind of coming in, you know, really tightly here in this fourth quarter. And then the group will tell us, or you will tell us, the open enrollment dates that they've established. What's the start date and the stop date? And we need that stop date so we can lock down the enrollment. Baron Purvis will then manage all of those apps, and then we will work with underwriting to make sure that that group gets approved. Now, once that enrollment has concluded, we have the option, if you have subscribed or if you currently subscribe with East Central, we can actually port that group back over into your East Central account. So Beer and Purpose will take on all of the setup for the group enrollment, the plans, the rates, the, the data, et cetera. But then we will turn that over to you once the enrollment has concluded. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn um, the presentation over to Rhett and he will demonstrate the enrollment process for you. All right, great. Stacy, let me know if you can see my screen now. Yes, I can. Okay, great. So from this perspective, we're going to take a look at what an employee's experience would look like. So through BP Enroll, this is going to be the landing page. The employee would be able to be invited via email to go in and complete their enrollment. So they're going to be able to log in, choose their own unique password, and they're going to see a set of different tabs here. Obviously, the document library I talked about earlier. Um, this is something they can review internally and also externally, not having to log in. Um, they can do that 24-7. Manage benefits, that's going to be the part where they can actually view the benefits that are available and then also update their profile. But in this situation, we're kind of taking a look at it from bidding out the insurance and going through the initial enrollment process. So we have an enrollment overview. This is a nice section as an introduction, introduction to the employee to give them some instructions, you know, key highlights that they're going to want to be aware of and mindful of as they're going through the process. It really grabs their attention and makes sure that they're prepared for the next couple minutes they're going to complete their enrollment. So as I mentioned earlier too, all this information you'll notice has been pre-filled out for the employee. Uh, this is the type of imported information that we like to capture so that we make it as, as seamless and streamlined as possible for the employee once they go in there. Obviously if there's information that's inaccurate, they can update it if necessary. Dependent information, so quickly add something of that nature. So in this scenario, not a whole lot of information to fill out, but just the standard necessary of information. 
that they were going to fill out. And now they can continue on with the rest of their enrollment. So if they're not applicable or eligible for any type of Medicare coverage, they can go through that section. And now they're ready to view their benefits. A nice component and feature of eCentral is the ability to store videos. Videos are very popular. They're very informative. They help with that education process. So if there's any type of carrier-specific videos or any other type of customized videos that people would like to implement and use, we can certainly do that as well, too. Um, you can see here on the right, it's going to give us the information based upon the election that was made is a live update on the contribution amount. Um, this scenario, I'm going to show a wave uh, situation for Bill's uh, spouse. So in this situation, let's just say that she has an individual policy and it's not necessary to be on the plan. Um, you also have the ability to uh, download all the necessary information that's going to help with that education for the employee to pick and choose what plan they might want to enroll in. So downloading an SBC, a benefit summary, SPD, all that necessary information, uh, providing links to providers to search for those providers, all those other different things are available right there when the employee wants to uh, go through their enrollment. We also have a snapshot. So in this section here, they can quickly view the differences between one plan or the other. As you notice, we have two plans that are available. They can pick and choose which one they wanted to enroll in by viewing the all the different benefits that are available right here. Reviewing their deductible, their office visit co-pays, uh, emergency room coverage, lab and x-ray, prescription card. Once they go through that process, there's obviously some extra notes here reminding them to electronically sign things, compare the different benefits between one plan or the other. A nice place for notes to be stored there. If you had to have uh, coordination of benefits, you could add that information here based upon the other carrier that you're covered by, when that start date was that you were covered, and who the person was that's covered underneath that contract. So for coordination of benefit purposes, we can capture that information on here as well too, and that information will be mapped to the forms. Okay, so this section uh, for missing information, it's going to show you, okay, what is necessary to go back and fill out. You can click on the highlighted link, make that update, and then go back to the forms section. And we should be ready to review the forms. Okay, so we have the Anthem Blue Cross form that's attached here. So we have the ability to uh, review that form. And imagine, too, if we had you know, multiple other forms in there as well, too, for dental and vision. We can review all the forms all at the same time. And to show the mapping process, kind of talking about that a little bit, obviously all the information is now complete. It's all legible and neat so that you can read the information. Uh, there's no guessing as far as that's concerned. All the necessary information that was required to be mapped to the form has now been collected. So we have the form uh, filled out, the plan selected, uh, who's electing the coverage, uh, employee only in this case. As I mentioned, um, it also will capture the dependent waiver section. So obviously waiving for the spouse because they're enrolled in individual coverage. At this point, I am ready to sign my form electronically. And at that point, I'm completely done and I have the option to view a benefit summary. We know that employees don't want to print off, say, you know, 20 or 30 pages of an application. What they want to do is have a nice snapshot, a quick view of the election that they made, uh, the dependents or any type of dependent information, what the premium contribution might be, and they can take that with them and then they're done. So that's the employee experience. Um, at this point, what I'll try to do then now is to switch over to the 
more complex administrative perspective. So as a broker managing your own portal, if you will, your website of, app, of uh, companies that you've got listed underneath there, uh, we'll take a look at that group that Bill Carlson was enrolled in. So Battered Up is the name of that company. And we'll just kind of give you an idea on the amount of data and information that's captured and stored on each employer that you work with. So all the standard information that you might want to keep and maintain on here on the profile, SIC code, the date they were established, entity type, uh, different type of nature of business, multiple locations. Uh, interesting here that you can actually notate the different locations and the number of employees that are uh, residing at each different location. This section two underneath the organization type is, is very important too because you might have different eligibilities and what I mean by that is you might have different job classes or different job titles that make people eligible for benefits one versus the other. So maybe maybe a salaried employee has access to different benefits than an hourly employee. We can set that all up underneath the organization type and then attach that to the plan that they're going to be available for. And I'll show that to you here in a little bit. Administratively, we can attach who needs to have the access. Uh, we can attach different team members. So this might be a broker. It might be an account manager with that broker that needs to have access. And you can pick and choose you know, which groups those individuals need to have access to because you may not want to give access to all the groups uh, for that one particular account manager or that one particular broker. The company admins are all the employees uh, internally inside that, that client that might want to have access, uh, like an HR director and things of that nature. Employee list, we have different ways that you can view the employees that are working for or employed by that client. Um, obviously an alphabetical list there. Uh, from this section, you can download a census. You can review those that are active, terminated COBRA, and those that are on leave. So a different way to manage uh, the employees of that company. Plan setup. So in this section here, again, as I mentioned, we have over 50 different pre-built plans that are in there. So we have the ability from wellness to the standard medical, dental, critical illness, accident, so on and so forth. Pick and choose from any of those pre-built plans and, and get those set up very, very quickly. Take a look here at one of the plans that we're working with for the medical and how the, the plan setup actually works, but essentially uh, setting up a plan, choosing an admin name, a display name, setting those effective dates, when the enrollment can start, when the enrollment's going to end, um, COBRA, situations, whether or not we want to request primary uh, physician information, um, OBGYN. And this section here, as I showed earlier on that perspective for Bill, the ability to actually put a description of the plan that's available so that when employees go through the enrollment, they have a, a nice, easy way to view the benefits from plan to plan. Setting up your eligibilities, as I mentioned earlier, based on the different locations. You might want to assign a different plan uh, that's eligible for a certain set of employees versus another, and this is where you would do that. You can attach a policy number, subgroup number if necessary, pre, pre versus post-tax determinations, waiting periods. Uh, we can manage, obviously, different days, months, first of the month immediate uh, age determination by plan anniversary, first of the month, end of the month, things of that nature. Transition over to the rates. So we have the ability here to quickly set up the different uh, rates that are available to the uh, plans that you're choosing based upon a rate library. As I mentioned earlier, you can quickly choose 
a effective date and from the rate library that we have pre-built in here you would have access to different plans that are inside there um, capturing this information uh, based upon the carrier that you want to quote the different rate areas and at that point you would have the ability to uh, set those rates based upon the plan that you want to choose and it would pre-populate all that information for you so if I were to click set rates all these rates would populate. So we have that pre-built already in there, kind of displaying those rates that are associated with the plan that we have displayed. So again, as I mentioned earlier, you don't have to go out and get those rates from the carrier or work through a GA to get that information. Uh, that information is already stored inside of our system. Uh, also to know is we can manage a tobacco surcharge if that's necessary based upon the carrier that you're working with or the plan too. Contributions, you can set that inside of here based upon a dollar amount or a percentage. So in this situation here, we have the employee contribution set up. We can also manage employer as well, too. Uh, we also have a base plan option. So if you're going to have a core plan with some buy-up options and you want to set those contributions for the buy-up options based upon the base plan, you can do that inside of here as well, too. So we have the different structures of table, tier, or even custom design setups. Forms, so we have a pretty robust forms library. Uh, the ability to quickly go in there and, and possibly choose a form and add that right there. You have the ability to type that information in or to search from the forms library that we have already pre-built and available. So choosing the state, we also have some national forms that are available in there as well too. Quickly go through there, find your form and the carrier you're looking for. Uh, look at the different uh, form numbers and dates to make sure that they're uh, current and something that you want to attach to the plan for the enrollment. And the different document section. This is where you would attach for the employee the SBC, uh, the drug and pharmacy information, the provider directory. So if they want to search for a physician or uh, possibly look to see if they can register at the carrier website to have access to an EOB or print a temporary ID card. All that information can be populated here so that when the employee goes through their enrollment, they have the ability to click on it, review it and do all the necessary administration they need to at that point. That's the plan set up there. And again, that works across all the other different plans that we have in there for dental vision. Very, very similar setup, uh, setting your eligibilities, your rates and your contributions, so on and so forth, adding your forms. Um, in this section here, you know, very popular with the ACA reporting for those groups above 50 that this applies to. Uh, you have the ability to track hours to maintain the status of an employee if they're going from part-time to full-time and when they become eligible for benefits. Um, the potential applicable large employer counts, full-time, full-time equivalents, the MEC percentages, making sure that the plans qualify for the minimum essential coverages. So you have a, a dashboard that tracks the employees so you can kind of see the enrollment status. So if an employee went through there like Bill Carlson, you're going to see that they're finished. Um, see the number of hours that they're working tracked through the system. Uh, the measurement period, things of that nature that go along with the ACA reporting. Uh, the section here is just really to qualify that it meets the minimum values. So when you check that, um, that would help uh, with the administration and coordination of the 1095C form. So we manually go through there and check if they meet the minimum value, which you know, most plans do. Uh, set up the different policies. So again, this would be where the measurement periods are set up, uh, administrative periods, stability periods, all the information for new hires and also ongoing employees. So all the different policies are set up there. You can assign them by different uh, locations, divisions, job classes, whatever that might be. Uh, 1095C forms that need to be prepared and submitted to the employees. Again, 
uh, most important detail lines of that form, I believe, are lines 14 and 16, and we populate those forms so that at the end of the year, when you're filing uh, for that year, uh, you have the information in the format that's necessary to distribute out to the employee. Um, you can have access to those individually or in one large, again, PDF file that you can print off and hand out to the employees. Uh, capturing the information and the codes that need to go along with that 1095C form. Uh, employees share the lowest cost monthly premium. And then also the, uh, the safe harbor section, I believe that's line 16. And then we also create the 1094C form for the employer. Um, and this is very helpful for the employer to have that form created. Again, not having to manually go through a bunch of spreadsheets and tracking hours and payroll vendors and things of that nature coordinating if they were enrolled one month, uh, changed from one month to another uh, when they came onto the plan, but all the information is tracked internally inside of eCentral. So a very helpful you know, resource that a lot of brokers are interested in and definitely looking for. Uh, the document library would be something, as I mentioned, with the link that's on the landing page of the employer. So if the employee wanted to go out there and they wanted to view an SBC without having to log in or they forgot their username or password, uh, they have the ability to have access 24-7. Uh, it might be you know, 2 in the morning and they happen to go to the emergency room, heaven forbid, and they want to see what their coverage is for that. They can capture that information right here. Uh, rate quoting, so in this section here, uh, this would be helpful for renewal type scenarios. So if you wanted to take a look at quoting a current plan, uh, versus maybe something that you see from an outside carrier that might be very competitive at that point in time. Uh, you can add the current plan with the current elections and then choose from a library that we have set in here across the other different carriers that are out there to have that information that maybe you want to quote against the current plan that's in there to see how competitive those rates are. At that point, you can pick and choose again, too, if you're going to use current elections or everyone enrolled or any other type of, of uh, statistic there. And then set your contributions. So again, just as we did before earlier on the plan setup, you can set the different contributions if they're going to be uh, the same as the plan setup or something different based upon the employer's recommendation for that year. And then simply quick click get quote and then you're going to see a spreadsheet that's created for you and the ability to compare uh, the enrollment of the current plan versus the new plan. So it's a nice way to actually take a look at a quick comparison to see you know, what the annual premiums are currently versus what the new option might be and determine if they're competitive or not. Customizing the enrollment from this section here, we have the enrollment dates. So we can set open enrollment. And we can also you know, set that 30 days of open enrollment and then also lock down the system so that beyond open enrollment, the employee does not have the ability to go in there and then just haphazardly switch between coverages, one versus the other. They definitely need to coordinate and work with the HR director, uh, making sure that they're aware of any type of change. Uh, we have the ability in our system that if an employee were to get married, uh, needed to add that dependent spouse, uh, they can approach the HR director and we can unlock the ability for that single employee to go in there uh, and possibly spend the next two weeks to have the access to go in and add that dependent spouse. Once that dependent spouse has been added, uh, there's two different notifications. Obviously, the employee can confirm with the HR director that they're complete, they've completed their enrollment, adding the spouse, or there is a daily email notification that can be sent out uh, reminding the HR director that there's been activity and that possibly we need to go in there and check out the different groups that had activity and grab that application so that they can administer the addition of that spouse to that employee's health plan. 
Um, inside of here, again, depending upon the use that you're using it for, anybody that might be working with uh, self-funded or level-funded groups where you might want to capture medical information. As you saw on the demonstration earlier for Bill Carlson, we were doing a regulated plan, did not require health information, so we didn't have to answer that. But in this section here, if we needed it, we could check that box, and then when we go through as an employee, you're going to be asked to answer the medical information. Um, that's really helpful, obviously, when you're going through underwriting scenarios. And with our system and the applications that we have, we have a technology that would only ask the questions based upon the applications that are attached. So we obviously have a wide variety of different questions that we could ask in our health section. Uh, but we also utilize the technology such that if there's only uh, five or six different medical questions based upon that carrier form that we attach, we're only going to ask those five or six questions. If you attach additional multiple carrier forms, again, we're only going to ask the questions that are on that form. Uh, the general instructions that we saw whenever we entered as Bill Carlson are entered in here. Uh, you know, very easy to manipulate and to add and customize as much as we want. Uh, we can add those videos, and that's where that showed up to underneath the other demonstration. <coughs> Login information. So when employees are, are going through the process of the enrollment, uh, we have the ability to quickly capture all those employees that have an email and then send out a customized email based upon whatever we choose and send that out electronically. And branding. So again, customizing the website to that employer, uh, as you saw with BP Enroll, whenever the test employee went through and enrolled, that's the type of perspective of the landing page that you would see. We have the ability to uh, attach different images, uh, background image, or maybe a header image, and then pick and choose a different URL branded to that carrier, or I'm sorry, that client employer that you're working with. So lots of information. Uh, definitely appreciate the opportunity to kind of demo everything for East Central uh, to get that information out to the, the brokers that are out there viewing the webinar. But at this point, uh, Stacy, I don't know if there's any questions or any other type of commentary that you've got that we can work with. Thank you, Rhett. Um, yeah, actually, we do have a, a few questions. So I have received. Um, some folks want to know about the mobile capabilities, uh, you know, if if it will render to, to mobile devices. Yes. Yeah, we do have the mobile technology, so yes, it will render based upon the type of uh, program that you're using or the, the device that you're using. So if it's a phone uh, or an iPad, things of that nature, or desktop, obviously, yes, the resolution will uh, flow with whatever device you're using. Okay, great. Thank you. So now, um, can we talk about actually the plans? I know that the the plans that we deal with, you know, in small group, the one to one to fifty market right now, um, which is expanding up to one hundred in twenty sixteen. All of those plans are going to be they're canned plans, and there aren't any benefits that you're going to be able to customize. But let's just say that there's a a broker has a client that is self funded or maybe they have, you know, an, an ancillary plan, like a, a dental plan that, you know, is, is customized. How can that plan be added? Or can you accommodate those scenarios where they have their own rates, they have their own benefit summaries, you know? Oh, yeah, sure. So from the plan setup, um, based upon something that you might incorporate along with the medical plans. Uh, yeah, so for a dental plan, let's just do that real quick. So for the rate setup, again, based upon whatever the rates are, so possibly uh, in a tier setting where it's employee only, employee spouse, employee child, 
full family, you can enter that information in here manually. So again, based upon the plans that you're working with for the different uh, types of contributions and rates, we can do that here in the plan setup. So instead of using a rate library, it's something that you do manually to enter those rates. Okay, thank you. So I do, um, I'm kind of scanning some of the questions right now. Can you, um, this kind of goes back a little bit to the beginning, you know, when you were talking about the capabilities, the features and capabilities of East Central. And I'm sure you get this question a lot, but can you, and especially, I mean, with, you know, the benefits in the market. We, I know we receive the question a lot about, well, how does this vendor compare to benefits? How does this vendor compare to benefits? And, you know, can you just kind of speak, you know, generally to that? Yeah, sure, certainly. So the way we position ourselves against the benefits and the benefit focuses and the other different vendors that are out there is, you know, again, we are a partner with the broker. We feel like the resources and tools that we've got stack up very nicely against somebody like a Zenefits. Um, Zenefits is out there obviously promoting these free technology services. Uh, what we want to do is obviously make that arrangement, that partnership with the broker providing the same services, the ability to manage enrollment, things of that nature, coordinate with payroll, complete the 1095C forms. So we feel like in, in the relationship that we've got is we provide the tools. You know, we're essentially tool in that toolbox for all the brokers that work with us to help them stack up against benefits when they come in there and say that there's no value that your broker is providing like they do. We, they can actually you know, rebut that comment and say, well, yes, we do. We provide all the same resources that benefits does. Um, it's just through East Central. Okay, thank you so much. So I just, one thing I want to kind of clarify is whenever there are documents being added into East Central, those are documents that are actually either provided by the broker, by the employer, they would be, you know, documents that, that Baron Purvis would have if we were actually setting up the group for an initial online enrollment. So um, but whenever setting up the plan in the system, you do have the plans listed and those, those plans are tied to the rates. But if we want to or if the um, client also wants to provide access to the formal you know, carrier summary or you know, the carrier's generated SBC, then that is something that would have to be obtained outside of East Central, correct? Yes, correct. Uh -huh. Anything that's supplied, anything that might be uh, unique to what we currently have in there, yes, can be supplied by the broker and simply uploaded uh, to display along with that group. Right. So, for example, um, on BP Enroll, which would be the, the free online enrollment service that we would provide for all of our brokers' groups, we, whenever you notify Beer and Purvis that the group has sold and you tell us who the carrier is and the plans, then we have all of those resources on file. So we would upload the plan summaries. We would generate the SBCs and provide those as well, mark them as, you know, for a required review so that there is some tracking available on that so that the employer could actually, you know, denote that that employee did in fact receive it. But those pieces, you know, we can... Beer and Purvis would, would be taking that on for that online initial enrollment. Now I'm, I'm going to take a look real quick at some of the other questions I have. You know, I, I think right now, Rhett, we're actually starting to get, you know, a lot of questions about, about rates. Mm -hmm. So if we want to kind of step back you know, and go back to the PowerPoint pre presentation. Yep. All right, do you want me to send the uh, controls back over to you? Yeah, well, I can take them. Yeah, that's fine. There you go. 
Okay. So, yeah, while Stacy's pulling that up here, we have a couple different subscription models that we work with. Um, and what we do is we have a pro, platinum, and enterprise uh, subscription model. The pro model is the only one that is billed annually. So we do break it down into what the monthly cost is, but it does give you up to a thousand employee lives that you could have in the system across as many groups as necessary. Um, it's two forty nine a month, or essentially uh, just under three thousand dollars billed annually. Um, with all of our subscriptions, you get the free training, uh, usually four sessions, uh, the live customer support. Uh, we're always there and available uh, to help answer any questions, help with the training. The Platinum and Enterprise, those are billed monthly, and for four ninety nine, you get up to five thousand employees. That's probably our most popular model because if you uh, break that down, it's essentially ten cents PE PM. Uh, the enterprise level is nine hundred ninety nine dollars a month, and that is uh, unlimited employees. Uh, we also mentioned some of the enhanced employee onboarding services. Uh, those are going to be coming live here shortly, and that would be the ability to add the I nine and W four along with the HR support with HR Answer Link. You have up to 250 employer groups that you can give that out to. You can pick and choose and customize when and who you want to give that out to. And for $195 a month, you have that access to 250 clients and the I-9 and W-4 for the onboarding purposes. Uh, we do have some optional services as well, too. I mentioned earlier uh, some of the payroll integration and, and payroll options. Uh, we, we do have the ability to work with a number of different payroll vendors, whether it's ADP or uh, Zen Payroll or anybody else that's out there, Paychex, we can work with that carrier such that we will extract the information that's entered into eCentral and in the format that the payroll vendor would require or would receive it in, we can format it and send it over to the payroll vendor. Uh, we do that for a dollar PEPM. Uh, that incorporates very nicely with the 1094 and 1095C reporting because obviously we're going to need um, the track, the time tracking information. So we capture that information from the payroll vendor and then we import that back into eCentral. So that combination there together is a very nice resource for managing payroll but then also uh, complying with the ACA reporting requirements. And the ACA reporting is 50 cents PEPM. Uh, the future of the evolution for advanced HRIS is that eventually we will have, probably sometime in fourth quarter, the uh, HR, on, uh, HR answer link on demand where you'll actually be able to call and talk to a live person, an SPHR qualified individual for HR that can help answer any questions you might have uh, relating to things at work or uh, compliance, the Affordable Care Act, things of that nature. Continuing with that evolution, we'll have the ability to scan in uh, employee documents, company documents that employees need to sign off on. Um, employees have the ability to request time off, uh, review employee reviews and employee directories. That'll be coming uh, sometime in the fourth quarter. And then we also have an employer marketplace, uh, the ability to provide non-competitive products to what the brokers might be working with, things like telemedicine, and identity theft products. Uh, the ability for us to leverage the different size of our footprint to the different carriers that we work with that provide those types of services, passing those discounts on to the, to the broker that can then present those to the clients that they work with. Um, any type of product that's sold uh, through that model will be something that every broker would be compensated on. It's not something that we exclude the broker. We always include the broker in all activities that we're working with. Yeah. Other than that, uh, kind of working into the relationship that we've got with uh, BP Enroll. Stacey, you want to talk a little bit about the uh, pricing with BP? Yeah, sure. I'll get into that. Thank you. Um, so as far as um, BP Enroll goes, just to kind of clarify again, I know that um, we might, I might have confused a few people as far as what Beer and Purvis is offering and what the charges are. So as your general agent, 
we are providing a new value add service to you. As you know, you can come to us uh, for, for many, many services for no charge. So this is just an addition to the services that we already provide, the, uh, the, which is the initial online enrollment. So if you have a group that you know, is enrolling in Anthem, HealthNet, et cetera, you know, our carriers, then we will set up the initial online enrollment. And once that group has concluded their enrollment, then we will manage all of the applications and the underwriting process and you will be notified upon group approval just as you always are. So that is no charge. Now, if your client wants to continue with Ease Central, if they really like the experience, you know, the, the open enrollment experience and they want to keep that system, then a, a good portion of the setup has already been conducted or completed as a result of conducting that open enrollment. So <clears throat> what you would need to do to make that available to your client is you would then subscribe with Ease Central at the rates that that Rhett had mentioned, you know, on the on the previous slide. Now, what I do want to touch on is if you pricing with beer and purpose. So the monthly subscription rate of you know two forty nine for managing up to a thousand employees or four ninety nine for managing up to five thousand employees. That pricing will remain as listed. Now, however, online. HR management solutions are available in our Broker Picks program. And many of you are probably familiar with our Broker Picks program, which is available to your clients. So if your group is enrolling 20 or more um, in one of our medical carriers, then they can choose from a variety of services in our Broker Picks program. And then Bureau and Purvis will make a payment to the vendor of that service. So for example, Cobra is Cobra service is available through our broker picks program. And the way that we do that is here's some examples. So Cobra is a PEPM um, product as far as it's a set price per employee per month and you pay that you know over the course of the year. When a broker, I'm sorry, when a group enrolls 20 or more with one of our carriers then we would actually make the payment to the vendor for that group's first year of services. And online, the online HR management solution is also under our broker picks program in the exact same formula. So for example, if you have 30 employees that are enrolling, you know, with a BMP carrier, let's just say the fee is a dollar per employee per month. So we take that 30 times $1 times 12 months, and that's, 300, that's a $360 payment that we, in turn, will make back to East Central that is can, paid toward your account for offering these services to your employer. So, you know, if you have groups, you know, that meet the qualifications of the Broker Picks program, then that actually could, could help supplement the ongoing cost of providing this to your employees. So I do want to put that out there. We will include, you know, information on our broker, broker picks program and the follow-up, you know, email tomorrow. And certainly if you have any more questions regarding that, I would encourage you to reach out to, you know, your BNP sales rep. Um, I know that we are, uh, I do want to take a look at some questions that we have. So folks that do have questions that we haven't addressed yet, please don't give up on us. I will get to them. But I, I know that there are some folks that are wanting to learn, you know, more about the product and whether it be BP Enroll or whether it be eCentral. So first of all, what you can do is you can just contact any member of your BMP sales team, especially, you know, for BP and role, you know, start with your sales rep, you know, have a conversation as far as, you know, what you're looking for for your client and, you know, have that discussion with them. Next, you actually can visit the web page. Um, on our website, there is a BP and role web page. If you just go to beerpurvis.com, you click on, there's a, a slider at the top, a big ad for BP Enroll, you can click on that and it will take you to a page that has multiple resources. So, you know, kind of a little implementation, checklists, um, you know, presentations. In addition, there are also links that to uh, registration links to demos. 
So if you want to learn more about East Central, East Central actually conducts broker demos uh, every week on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 10 a.m. And you can register those. It's a standing demonstration that you can, you know, participate in. As well, they conduct a weekly demo for employers every Thursday at 1 p.m. You know, if you're wanting to, you know, learn more about the full, the total group management system. And then we will be sending you a follow-up email from today's webinar, and that will include a lot of information, you know, that we've addressed today. So. I do kind of want to go back to the questions. I know that, um, Rhett, you actually, you know, addressed, you know, the payroll and, you know, the pricing on that. Mm -hmm. And then, um, okay, so we just went over all the pricing. Now, can you, as far as, there is a, a question that we have in regard to connectivity to the carriers that are not represented by BMP. So if, um, I think as I mentioned, so we will set up the group enrollment for the carriers that BMP is contracted with. Now, <clears throat> if you have, you know, other carriers beyond that, I would certainly, you know, say contact your sales rep and, you know, we can discuss that. But as far as being able to, you know, submit that group to a carrier that we are not contracted with, um, then, you know, we would have to, you know, take, take that into consideration and see, you know, see what we can do, you know, to provide assistance there. Now, Rhett, what can happen if, let's just say that an employee doesn't have a computer and they can't enroll online, can the employer or the administrator log in to do that for them? Yeah, they can. Um, essentially, from that perspective, administratively, being able to go into that employee profile um, and then be able to make the elections you know, for that employee, they can do that. You know, my suggestion that we do a lot of times is for the HR uh, director or the point of contact at the group to sit down with that employee uh, help them complete the enrollment and then allow the employee to electronically sign it so that you have 100% complete enrollment uh, at that point. Then you have that personnel file that's completed as well, too, with the employee signature. Uh, but certainly on situations where maybe a signature is not as necessary and things of that nature, uh, yeah, administratively, you can make those elections on behalf of the employee. Okay, great. Thank you very much. So after um, looking through the questions, there, um, I do believe we are finished. There are a couple of questions that I'm actually going to follow up with some people directly offline. It's, it's more um, specific to their actual groups. So, um, okay, so just, you know, a reminder uh, that we did, you know, record today's webinar. So tomorrow you'll get a follow-up email with a link to the recording as well as the slides and other resources, you know, on eCentral, but then also on BP Enroll for the free online enrollment service that we'll, we will be providing, you know, to you and your clients. So, um, Rhett, I want to thank you again for joining us today as well as all of our broker partners. Mm -hmm. We know it's a really busy time for you. So please turn to Baron Purvis, you know, for your online enrollment solutions as well as just the ongoing service. And we are here, we're staffed to help, and we are eager, just as you are, to get through this fourth quarter. So if, if anyone has any questions, you know, please, you know, feel free to shoot an email to your BMP sales rep. And we will help you out, and we look forward to getting everyone started. Thanks, Rhett. All right. Thanks, Stacey. Thanks, everybody.